Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, within days after the Raptor crash, a new design is unveiled. Also, Arkenstoll opens spectator registration for Ozark Backwoods Challenge. Launching this week is the first 5G-enabled drone racing program. Happy Friday, everybody. You survived the work week. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Remember the Raptor kit aircraft prototype that ended up in a cornfield? Well, believe it or not, Peter Muller unveiled a new design and it's called the Raptor NG. While the original bird promised the moon and never succeeded in doing much more than getting off the ground, the Raptor NG goes way beyond the original hype and bluster of the elder, recently corn-fed Raptor. The new bird is, get this, a multi-electric hybrid ducted fan airframe with a unique box wing configuration. He claims that he has been working on this new design for quite some time now. He details only that the aircraft will have 24-inch ducted fans, but all other details are still secret. It will have a power generation unit where the engine used to reside on Raptor Old Gen, along with a battery to provide some backup power in the event of a power interruption. We'll have more info as it may or may not become available, but after years of development on a new project that did not meet any of its primary goals, we are skeptical about this one. After the break, balloons take center stage this September. I'll tell you where after these messages. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Balloons will take center stage and fly in the sky this September. Zeged Hungary has been the host of the FAI HAB European Championship since 2016. The five-day event includes the Zeged Balloon Cup and Zeged International Air Show. Seget, the city of sunshine, has the highest average number of sunny days and has become famous for hosting international air shows. This year's event will take place from September 12th until the 18th. Pika officially has a new president. Electric mobility pioneer Dan Grossman has been confirmed as the president of PICA, who reportedly makes the first and only commercially certified 100% electric autonomous plane working in precision agriculture. Following this announcement was the reveal for plans of a passenger and cargo electric plane. The company has been developing the plane for the past four and a half years based on their technology advancements in autonomous crop spraying. First, DA-50RG demonstrator lands in the UK. The latest aircraft in the Diamond family, the DA-50RG, will be available in the UK and Ireland through Gemstone Aviation on Friday, August 6th. The first public showing of the DA-50RG in the UK took place at Leeds East Airport. Gemstone Aviation Directors Henrik Burkall and Chris Daw were invited to the Diamond Aircraft Factory in Austria in the fall of last year to try out the DA-50RG. 
They ordered a new demonstrator shortly after landing. U.S. Senate confirms new chair of the NTSB. Jennifer Ahamendi was confirmed on Monday by the U.S. Senate via voice vote to chair the NTSB. Ahamendi is 49 years old, has served since August 2018 on the board, and worked previously on transportation issues as senior legislative staffer. In January of 2020, during the investigation into the helicopter crash that killed basketball star Kobe Bryant, Ahamendi was the on-scene board member. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Mark your calendars. Arkin stole open spectator registration for Ozark Backwoods Challenge. The dates of the event is from September 29th until October 3rd, inspired by the challenging terrain of the Ozarks. The terrain involves actual backwoods flying while adding the elements of time trials and river valley winds. All of those factors combine to make for a challenging competition. Last year was the first year for the challenge, held at Bird's Adventure Center in western Arkansas along the Mulberry River. The owners, Zen and Pam Bolden carved out a series of runways years ago for their friends who came to visit, which ended up as the beginning for Ark and Stoll. The event has doubled in size from the last year's 26 competing aircraft to this year's 50. Time trials begin on Thursday, continuing into Friday, narrowing down the field to 35 aircraft for the last day of the competition. This is a time stall event requiring the participant to depart the main runway, land at three other designated runways, and return to the landing airport. The competition will be divided into three sections by weight. The event will provide pilots the opportunity to test their skills and exchange tips and tricks of backwards flying. After these messages, custom 5G drone to fly at DRL and T-Mobile events. More details after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. T-Mobile and the Drone Racing League launched their first 5G-enabled drone. This was one of the first racing drones in the world to have the 5G embedded and capable of live streaming video directly to the internet. Via T-Mobile's 5G network, the drone was able to stream high-definition, first-person view footage live. Baseball fans at the MLB Field of Dreams Thursday night in Dyersville, Iowa, got a first glimpse of this drone as it went behind the scenes, across the cornfields, to the movie set and original ball field then onto the MLB field where the game was played. DRL President Rachel Jacobson said a few days ago, the Drone Racing League is a perfect case study for showcasing the benefits of T-Mobile 5G wireless technology with our high-speed racing drones. Our fans love innovation and discovering how new technology is developed. And we know our 5G-enabled drone will get them excited about the new ways they will be able to experience the immersive thrill of professional drone racing. 
The new drone is set to redefine the sports entertainment experience for fans streaming at home by providing crisp video and will make its way around the course before each event in the DRL's 2021-2022 season. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next week.